Hey there, and welcome to Ruthful's Art Corner. I'm your host, Ruthful, also known as Ruthful LA. Check out my live stream on Twitch, follow me on Instagram, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for all kinds of art-related content. And you know, I think this kind of fits in with one of the things I wanted to talk about today, which is disappointment and... Um, Overcoming obstacles and how sometimes we just gotta deal with things as they come and if we're not happy with how things are, then, you know, figure out what you can change and then what you can't change, figure out how to, how to live with it, my thinking. See if this is any better. Right, I think we are possibly in better shape. So let's see here. But yeah, you know, obstacles make us feel very uncomfortable. Not a fun feeling. Nobody likes to feel uncomfortable. And I've talked about this book before, but there's a book that's really helped me out with dealing with those feelings. Sometimes. I mean, nobody's perfect. We're all a work in progress. But the book is Soundtracks. There we go. Now we're getting the kind of coverage we wanted. Hey oh. Not perfect, but after a couple layers, I think it'll look good. Now that's what I call coverage. Same. Same. All right, we're just gonna leave that be. I'm gonna do down here. So with, with that book, Soundtracks, one of the things that he has you say, I really like it. It's feeling uncomfortable is just a sign that my old comfort zone is having a hard time keeping up with me. Boom. You know, everybody always talks about wanting to get outside their comfort zone, but it is really uncomfortable when you get outside your comfort zone. It's no fun, but it's, it's necessary for growth. Without pushing out of our comfort zones, we will never grow. And so being uncomfortable is a sign of growth. It's a sign that you are doing something that is taking you past your comfort zone into an area that is less comfortable and it's necessary. Necessary. I think I think US culture and and possibly western culture really places an emphasis on quick fixes and on feeling good now and we don't like to sit with our uncomfortable feelings, but it's necessary. It's absolutely necessary. And so this past week, I've just been feeling all kinds of crap about not measuring up to my own expectations, and I needed to let go of those expectations. I really needed to be kinder with myself and accepting of the idea that, you know, things are not always going to go how I plan, and that's okay. It's okay to be bummed. It's okay to be disappointed, but... If I want to keep progressing, I have to push through those feelings rather than try to avoid them. So, you know, if I had feelings about my giveaway or if I had feelings about this channel, they aren't, those feelings are not necessarily a sign that I need to stop or that I shouldn't have done it in the first place. I take them to be signs that I'm doing something that is challenging me and pushing me and causing me to grow. So... But it took a while to get there. This was not something I just felt right away, okay? <laughs> just wanna just wanna emphasize that part. I think I'm gonna do the circle purple too. I wasn't sure if I was gonna do it purple or orange, but I think I'm gonna do it purple. And that way it's kind of like matching.
So my take on the whole situation is that whenever possible, step outside your comfort zone. Thanks for watching this video. I put all of the links down in the description so that you can check them out in your own time. Remember, if you want to chat with me while I deliver this content live, make sure to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash RuthfulLA. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel to help me grow the Artsy Farts community.